uh, a fandom out there that blows my mind, and you guys are a part of that. And uh, just know that it is, it couldn't be more the the kind of troublesome voices get magnified, you know, online and stuff like that. And and Chris is not someone who's who's online very much, but I think he's aware of those things. And when he came back and he told me that he was moved by five hundred people showing up at this museum, I was moved by that because I don't think Chris understands how beloved he is. And I think you I think people should also understand how much of the show is him. And I think that sometimes that gets lost in the discussions of nitpicking and some things, people like this or they don't like that. But without him, none of it. Zero. Zero zero zero. And he needs to hear that sometimes, but he's not in places where he can hear it. Maybe right now, though. Has Miss Subway's ever been? What's that? <clears throat> I'd love to have it optioned. Uh, uh, a producer had it for a bit. Um, no money changed hands, but we were trying to find um, somebody to commit to it, an actress or you know, producer. I still think it could be, it should be. I, I think it's. Well, not before. Yeah, no. I mean, I agree with you. I think it's. Um, I think it's a TV show. I think it's a good TV show. Really good. Yeah. I'll go. Okay, man in the hat. Well, yeah, no, I mean, people brought that up occasionally, but, you know, uh, Ivan Reitman just died recently, and uh, so I, I probably not. I mean, I, I love Orlando. I'm still in touch with Orlando, and Sean is terrific. Uh, but I don't know, I, yeah, I don't know where you go. Uh, I don't know what the story would be, but write it, you know? <laughs> Okay. All right, now she's over here. I don't have a bucket list. I don't think I have a bucket list. You have a hole in your bucket list? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, I, I have no, like, hidden talent that I can now go to. I, there's nothing else. I've kind of squeezed everything I might be able to do. Um, so I don't know. Yeah, I got nothing left. <laughs> but I got, I got some things that I like to do, so I feel lucky. I, I don't know if you guys know, but David is a superior athlete. Uh, and I'm not sure how, um, how many people know that. But uh, I once said to him that I was doing a triathlon. He said, I'd like to do that Ironman triathlon. So, wow. yes, I'd like to do an Ironman triathlon. <laughs> here's another, here's an X-Files trivia tidbit. Uh, Chris and I both did, after I did the triathlon, Chris was like, I'm going to do a triathlon too. So, we did the triathlon in Malibu, but we didn't, because Chris is significantly older than me. He was in <laughs> he, three years? Four years? Four years. <laughs> he, he did, uh, he was in a different heat. 
These are the old dudes, and I was going to put a slightly less old dude. And so we never saw each other during the race. And, you know, we finish and we get our times the next day. You got to go to a website, get your time down to the, down to the hundreds of a second. We had the identical time. <laughs> identical, right? Yes. Crazy. And he says, I win because I'm older. <laughs> Middle ground here, you. Hi, uh, my name's Josh. Um, are you friends with Charlie Runkle in real life? Huh? From Californication? Charlie Runkle. My friends with Evan Handler. Yes. Uh, yeah, we were friends. <laughs> yeah, I wrote that head for good luck. <laughs> I got an offer for you. <laughs> yep, the Runks. You choose. Cover is important. Judge a book by its cover, and um, yeah, I've been involved in the covers of all the books. This one, I didn't really give them any. Uh, uh, well, no, I didn't give I didn't give them any ideas really. They just they they came with two different ones. And I like them both. And I think we chose this because it looked more like a thriller. The other, the other uh, cover was uh, like an empty rowboat inside the reservoir in New York. And it was more of a daytime winter scene. And uh, this was, uh, you know, my only comment was the guy doesn't seem, he seems to have no hair or genitals. Look at the cover. the cover, right? Yeah, he looks like a like Ken doll. Kind of like <laughs> and they said that nobody would care. Right? Right, I'm, I'm getting nobody a, cared. I'm getting a two more questions. Okay, you got it. You, you choose them. That that was but that was very powerful. That was the fact that. Yeah. No, no, no. Wait, my. Next. It's impossible. It's a, this is a no-win situation. Right? Am I writing anything? Yes, I'm writing. I'm always writing something. Uh, and it is nothing like the X-Files, I can tell you that. And that's kind of where I've been for quite a while now. I, I just don't want to get pigeonholed uh, as uh, the X-Files guy, uh, because I think I have other things. In me. Uh, I did take a, a hiatus uh, to enjoy my life uh, for a time, but uh, I'm back. But I cannot enjoy it. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sabina. Um, and I wanted to ask, what was your, this is for both of you actually, I wanted to ask, what was your favorite uh, X-Files episode to write? And if you don't have one, <laughs> what was your favorite uh, book you've written so far? This is for you, that's for you. Yeah. Oh, my favorite X Files episode to write? Yeah. Oh, uh, probably the unnatural, the first one, just because. That was so cool. Thanks. <laughs> it was just. Uh, yeah, I've asked Chris, you know, if if I write a show, can I direct it? And he said, sure. And then I, it was that year when uh, McGuire and Sosa were locked in this home run battle, and there was a. There was just an article in the LA Times about <clears throat> this guy who had hit like 70 home runs in Roswell, New Mexico, <laughs> as a minor leaguer. He, he he hit more home runs than anybody in organized baseball. That's not major league, but just minor leagues. And he played for Roswell. And I was like, huh, oh, there's got to be something there. there. I, mean, I wrote that script, and I, I feel very warmly about it. I feel it's very emotional. I feel it, it has a lot to say about. It. Uh, mm -hmm. racial politics that is, you know, being said now, and um, I feel it's a little, little prescient, that's the word, uh, and uh, I stand by it, I think it's a good one, I mean, there's huge mistakes in the beginning, but, you know, we lost an actor, like, I shot the first day, first day I ever made, shot as a director, we had to reshoot because the actor got ill, yeah, and uh, anyway. 
So you have to do the natural, Chris, for you? Um, it's a really hard question to answer. Um, I want to answer it for you. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I want to say it's going to be triangle or postmodern Prometheus. Yeah, I, I would say those two. And Dwayne Barry. And Dwayne Barry. I'm good. Uh, I think that those those are among them. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll I'll, uh, I'll go with David's choice. All right, we're being run off the stage. Thank you all for coming out. Please enjoy the trip.